Page score in the 400 hurdle final. On the inside, Alex Bellamy, Townsend, Grant, Overhaul, Russell, Wilson, Shuttle, Kevin, and Graham. Wilson, 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 What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Track and Ace, man. Uh, let's talk about Savannah Sutherland, man, because uh, Savannah Sutherland had a really good run at these Olympics, man. Really good run. I, I'm probably coming out of these Olympics, you know, uh, Louise Marival. I just made a video about her. If you want to go watch that, I was amazed by her as well. But I think out of everybody, at least in the in this sport of track and field, I'm probably coming away the most amazed about her coming out of these Olympics, man. Because she did a lot more than what I thought she was going to do. A lot more than what I thought she was going to do. Um, the only thing you could say she didn't do was win a medal. But she did a lot more than what I thought she was going to do, man. And she actually had a really good race. In this final, too. Really good race in this final, man. Um, I like that she ran very similar to the way she did at the semifinals. Because sometimes what I, I notice, you know, going through the rounds and stuff with some girls is that some of them, uh, like, really slow down a lot. Like, they, 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 like, they're right there, but then they slow down quite a bit. And with Savannah, uh, she just stayed kind of the same as she did in the semifinal. You know, ran the same kind of race. Obviously, you'll want her to run a little bit faster because it is the final, you know, pick it up a little bit more. But I, I, I thought she ran pretty nicely, man. And, you know, this is against a stacked field. You you racing against one of the – I think two of the legends in the game, you know, Finkel Ball and Sidney McLaughlin, man. You having a race against them at the top and then some other legends like, you know – like Rochelle Clayton and stuff like that. Like you, you, you got a. I mean, you got a stacked field, man. You, you got a stacked field here. So for her, it's just to even make it to the final, that was an achievement all on his own. But then, you know, just run the way you did. You know, uh, fifty three point eighty eight was her time. I like it. I like it. What I'm seeing because I definitely think there's a lot of room to grow for her. She's only twenty one. She's probably. I think she's doing another college season next year. Um, and she could work on some things there. And, man, she's got a long ways to go. And, and the reason why in my last video I called her the next Ka Natalia Cash Mary was because Natalia is 26 right now. And she's got about five more years since she reaches 26. So I'm just like, I'm looking at the the trajectory of what I saw from Natalia Cash Mary when she was young as well, like her, like really young like her. And just like every, every year making those year-to-year -year improvements. Now... She's one of the top five, uh, you know, sprinters in the world in the 400, you know, 400 meter flat. So I'm looking at like Savannah Sutherland as someone that could either stick with the hurdles or she could move over to the flat in a few years. I'm hoping she moves over to the flat. I, I think that she could definitely be the next Natalia Cash Merritt. She's got a lot of speed. She got long legs. I like that. All that stuff is a good recipe for uh being a becoming a great runner in um uh, but I, I think she'll stick with the i think i think she should stick with the hurdler uh hurdles at least through these next olympic games because i think there's an opportunity for her very honestly to, to get on the podium and I, and I talked about that in the last video but before we keep going over that just a little reminder for you guys uh i do got a patreon and i got the race i'm gonna or at least i'm gonna have all three races i'm gonna have the first round I'm going to have a semifinal. I'm going to have the final. You can watch Savannah Sutherland's whole entire Olympic run on my Patreon. It's going to be in probably the Finkel Bowl section on the collections tab. 
Go over there, just sign up, make sure you sign up, and you can watch uh, Savannah Sutherland round by round. You will be amazed. Like, like if you haven't really been able to really watch the races, you will be amazed of what you see from Savannah Sutherland in each race, man. So definitely make sure y'all go over to the Patreon. And if you want to donate to the channel, I do have a cash app, dollar sign stack exchange. You can donate through there or through Bitcoin. I got a QR code on the screen. You can scan that. You can donate through Bitcoin from there. But, um, and I thank anybody for donating, by the way. But let, let's uh, continue in this. I'm going to throw the tabs on the screen so y'all can see them. So the only person that really is someone that I think she should have been a little closer to was Salmon. Uh, I would have liked for her to be closer to Cyan Salmon, man. I would have liked for her to be, like, right there with her, you know. Um, but that's okay, though. That's okay. Because, really, Savannah's not ready to be under 53 seconds yet. But I think I'll give her, like, another year or two. She's going to be she's going to be racing, starting to race under 53 seconds. So, because uh, she's just coming off of, like, 54 seconds last year. So, She's now starting to consistently get on the 54, and that's another reason why I liked her race today. She consistently is staying below 54. So the next train, low 40, low 53s into, like, the high 52s. Like, that would be, like, her trajectory every year, just cutting that time by about 40 to 60 hundredths of a second. You know what I mean? Like, just cutting it, cutting it, cutting it, and then I think she'll get there, but... I love her stride around the turns. She's got, like like I said, she's got something. She got a lot of speed. I see something in her. She's going to be one of the great ones. Like, Canada, they got they got themselves a good one. You know, Canada isn't really represented too well, um, on at least on the female side, in these uh, sprinting events, the, especially the lower ones from, like, 400 on down to 100, 200. There's not a lot of representation of Canadians. And I'm glad that she could be somebody who can start to represent that country in these shorter events like Andre de Grasse has done on the men's side for so many years. So I would love to see her really become that like main Canadian um, sprinter, you know. And I, I, I think, like I said right now, I think she's got a future in a 400 meter flat. I really do. She really reminds me of Natalia Cashmere. Those long legs, bro. Uh, the way she picks up her legs, I, I like it, man. She's got a, she's got speed, man. She's got a lot. She got a huge future. And I said this in my Luis Marival video as well. I don't know if Cindy McLaughlin and Phil Cabal are going to be in the hur hurdles in 2028. I'm pretty sure one of them won't be there. So that that leaves some room open. You know, Femme Ball may stay there because she wants to get a gold medal in the Olympics out of it. She may decide to stay, but she's also been training for the 400 flat as well. So we'll see what happens. Because both of them did say they were going to, you know, do this thing with the hurdles, but then they were going to move on. I think Sydney's definitely going to move on to the 400 flat. And Anna Cockrell, she's, she's going to be like on the other side of 30. They got Clay Rochelle, who's uh, Rochelle Clay, who's not going to be there. Um, the only two that you really got to worry about is like a Jasmine Jones and Cheyenne Salmon. And then anybody who's around this age group that didn't get in, there's still some runners that they beat out to get here who could probably be a little bit better in the next few years. They ain't got the youngest in college and, you know, that's coming up. So you got to worry about them as always as well. But look, there's spots open on the podium. I think Savannah Sutherland, she works on her thing. She could be on the podium in 2028. It is very realistic. You'll be close to home. You know, it'll be in L.A. You know, you're, you're, you're a country over from it. You've been, you been you went to school in the United States, so it'll be sort of a home Olympics for you. There's a chance Savannah Sutherland could be, at 25 years old, could be in this 400-meter hurdle final again, and this time really chase a full spot on the podium. I really think that's what the future entails, man. She's definitely someone I'm definitely going to be covering. I'm going to cover her in college next season as well in Michigan. Um, so definitely be locked in on the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe, man. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below what y'all think about Savannah's future, man. Definitely want to hear from y'all on her. Um, I'm, you know, I, she definitely raised my eyebrows, man. I, I definitely think she's going to be somebody who's definitely going to be someone to watch out, especially if she could stay injury free but I mean injury free it's not like little nagging injury, like little injuries I'm talking about like major ones if she could stay healthy 
that's going to be a huge plus for her, man. But uh, remember, you can watch all three of the races, and I'll have even more races uh, in her career. This is probably the end of her season because she's she was in college, so I don't think she's going to be running uh, the next month. Plus, she hasn't turned pro anyways. Um, but next season in college, you're going to have a races on my Patreon, man. So make sure y'all sign up for the Patreon or make plans to. Uh, again, if y'all want to donate, dollar sign Shack Exchange in the QR code on the screen to donate to Bitcoin, man. Really want to thank all y'all for coming over. And before y'all leave this video, y'all can do this for free. Give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. It's been a pleasure. Thank y'all for watching. Track and ace.